right, good morning YouTube. As you can read by the title, I had to do it. I went with an SSR, uh, no, CAD Delete, or, yeah, CAD Delete, you say. I'm warming up my car to take it right now. It's gonna be going on a stage two CAD Delete. I know I said it's my daily, but I got a really good deal on it. So I was like, you know what, screw it, why not? The guy, the owner that works there personally messaged me and he was telling me like, hey, like, you should get this from that. Like, I was gonna get charge pipes for it too, but nah. So I ended up doing a catless downpipe uh, tune. <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna get crazier at backfire. It's not gonna spit flames, he said. Or at least it shouldn't, but if it does, that'd be sick. But this is stock right now with just a muffler delete and uh, an X-pipe, I believe. Oh, and I just got this done yesterday. Shout out to Premium for that. And then, and then ACD did this right here. Also blocked out my LED lights, front and back, and the tail lights as well. And then Premium is also selling me the suspension in the near future, like I think a month from now. With all this coronavirus, I don't even think I, I don't even know if I have work to be honest, because it's pretty bad right now. I shouldn't even be outside apparently. This car, everyone thinks I'm selling it. No, I'm not. If someone were to offer me a good deal, I would let it go. But no, it is not for sale because it's not even close to being done. It's not even close to a thousand wheel yet. Still working on this one. But this one now has my heart. So we're gonna get ready, head out. Gonna go pick up a friend, take it to SSR, get it installed, tuned. So everything should be good. People are thinking like the tune is gonna be like something crazy. It's still gonna be on 91, nothing crazy. Still gonna be a good daily driver. So I don't know. I can't wait to hear it. I drove a Catalyst one yesterday from Premium and that thing sounded amazing. So can't wait to hear how this one sounds. And sorry if my voice sounds shaky. It's I'm really freaking cold. And people are probably thinking I'm sick, but nope. <laughs> I carry hand sanitizer with me at all, time, at all times. So yeah, that's pretty cool. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the vlog probably when I get over there because it's a pretty far drive for me. Well, not really, but, oh, that's sad. There we go, all right. I've had a couple of questions on how this car drives. Uh, to me, it drives really smooth, really calm. It's pretty cool. I really like, enjoy this car. I fit comfortably in it. The Fiat was a lot smaller, and I think I was getting taller because on the Fiat, like, the thing was really hitting my knees now. And when I first bought it, it never did that, so I was really kind of annoyed with it. But uh, for those asking what happened to the Fiat, I'll be doing a video later on talking about it. Let's just say it went through like three different turbos or four, because the turbos blew up on me, and then they tried to give me an engine rebuild. So I ended up like fighting like a whole case, <coughs> a whole case with them. They ended up fixing the whole entire car, giving me everything brand new, and then. I sold the car, I told the people what was wrong with it, I told them it was brand new everything, so they gave me a good deal. Bought this, and no, I didn't pay this cash, so I don't want anyone thinking that I bought this, and then, yeah. And for those asking, oh, how much am I paying for this car? I'm paying as much as the same as the Hellcat on a monthly, but it's because I had two cars for my name, and then I sold one, and then I walked in back with this one. Well, I had three, but I sold two, and then yeah. So, I don't know if you guys could hear it, I'm gonna try to see if you guys could hear some like little back shifts right here. I don't know if the camera's gonna catch that because I don't have my, my mic. All right, finally dropped off the Supra to get tuned. It's gonna be worked on. It should be done within six hours, which isn't bad. Thankfully getting it back to that two to three. It's currently nine, no, wait, eight, I think. Not sure, too lazy to check my phone. But there's like a whole bunch of crazy cars that they're working on right now. And he told me that the Super is going to be aggressive as hell, so I can't wait. It's going to sound so dope. I can't sadly be here because of the coronavirus, so I have to leave. We're waiting for an Uber to come. We're going to go to like a restaurant and just chill in there because we called and they're lighting us. So, yeah. And biggest flex of the year, I got free hand sanitizer from, from them. <laughs> Alright guys, so I ended up coming back to my friend's house because the car won't be done until 3 or 4. So we're taking a Shelby to go get his exhaust fixed because he installed it and um, one of the hangers ended up breaking. So we're taking it to Tobetha right now to get it welded or whatever. And he ended up going welds in the back. And his little brother's Mustang right here. It's a 2019 5.0 10 speed. Alright 
right, guys, we just got back. I think the Supra is done. Not 100% sure, but look what they have right here. Same color and everything. Oh, shoot. My God, this is Soul Goals right here. Dude, the interior. Holy crap. No headlight on the right side. All right, let's go see if they're if they're done with it. I want to hear it. Inside view. My God. <laughs> and it's not tuned yet because uh, my file is locked and it's only for first gen Supras that just came out, the uh, Jar Launch Editions. So this one I have to wait like a month or two to get tuned. I'm gonna be getting a AK-47 uh, sport mode button and it's gonna be shooting tiny little flames, nothing harmful to the engine because it's properly tuned. So right now I'm gonna head home, get some last minute videos of this. Uh, right now I can stop smiling, the car is perfectly loud. I love this thing, freaking dope. More content will be coming out. Um, they said to message them in a week to see how everything is. If you have a Supra, BMW, or an exotic car, hit up SSR Performance, ask for Mark. He helped me a lot, really good guy. So yeah, I'm gonna put the camera down because I see a cop. guys and there it is the cat delete uh, no, on us 2020 Toyota Supra I should be getting a check engine light soon I don't know when but um, it will be going back hopefully in less than a month he said to get tuned for the AK-47 mod for some serious power still gonna be good as a daily because I told him like, it's my daily so like I'm not really trying to kill gas you know so yeah it sounds really good love the car it sounds like a freaking GTR when it's like an idle like a turbo noise and all that so, really happy with how it came out. The stock cat's still in the trunk. Still not driving her yet because it's been raining, can't drive those tires in the rain, slide everywhere. But leave a comment on what you want to see next on either or, and I'll do it.